Today we're going to have a look at how to create a 3D document in order to create a shadow diagram uh, that's updatable. So if we go to 3D, I've simplified the model of the house so it's basically just a shell. We've got exterior walls, uh, we've got the roof, we've got some floors as needed in order to be able to cast shadows but we don't have any other extra detail. And we've got most of uh, the elements. The only thing that I turned off that I need to turn back on is my site. So that's the terrain new update. I'm just creating a layer combination here called context. So it's showing uh, a big slab around the outside. So this is the, the site slab. And then we've got a bigger slab around the outside. In order to create the shadow diagram, what we want to do is to be able to see this 3D model from the top. So to create this view, we go view, 3D view options, 3D projection settings. We're currently in a perspective mode, so we want to change that to parallel. And then we choose from this option here, this top view. Now we can spin this camera around. Effectively what we want to do is move it to the very bottom so that we see X and Y horizontal vertical up the page so just like we view in our floor plan we can of course change the Sun position here this is really what I want to do uh, we can do this now we can do this later it's it's best to do this now just to make sure it is working and that we've got everything else set up the way that we want when we're doing a shadow diagram for the purposes of let's say a, a DA development approval or application through council, we're doing a worst case scenario. So we want June 22 and we're going to be creating this at three different uh, times at 9am, at midday, noon and at 3pm. So we're just going to leave this one for now. Of course we needed to make sure that we already had our north position in the right place otherwise this isn't going to work. So that's fine the way it currently is just fit to window and so this is what we see now depending on your settings the way you've currently got uh, the either the internal or the open geo engine we may be able to see sun shadows or we might not be able to it doesn't necessarily matter if we can see shadows in this view but we definitely want to make sure that we can see shadows uh, later on in the 3d document but it's great to be able to see it for now just to know if we're in the right on the right track so if we go into our 3D styles, we've got different representations. Uh, one that's really nice to be able to visualize this is the white model with shadows, where we can create our model. We don't need to change a lot of these settings if it's already been set up. Uh, create our model just as a everything turned white and we can see that it's casting a shadow here. So that's already basically achieving exactly what I want in terms of a shadow diagram. The problem is that it's currently a 3D file and we need to turn this into something that we can put onto a layout. So we need to turn it into a 3D document. From here, in our project map, we've got a 3D document option. I can create a 3D document from the 3D. Let's call this shadow diagram. If it was a uh, alterations, I could say new or existing. In this case, it's a, it's a new build on a, on a virgin site, so I don't need to worry about an existing. So let's just say June. 22, 9 a.m. Now, unfortunately, we see that it automatically changes it because we've changed from our 3D information into our 2D information. It's still a 3D doc. It's still the 3D information, but it's drawn it in a way that is more of a 2D visualization. So now I can go into the settings of this. 
3D document settings, and I can adjust the representation. So of course you'll be familiar with this, that this looks a lot more like a section or an elevation now. So that's effectively what we're doing. We're creating an elevation uh, or a section, but from above instead of from the side. So what do we want to see? There's nothing that's cut, so we don't need to worry about our cut elements. Our uncut elements is basically everything. And of course, it's very, very important that we have our sun shadows on. I'm going to use sun shadows with contours. We want to make sure that... So we can adjust that if we want. Uh, and we want to make sure that we are changing this one. We can use the colors if we want. I like trying to take the colors out of it. So I'm going to use this uniform pen color. And I'm going to change that to white. Now with the sun shadows, uh, it's currently set up as a 50%. I can leave it as 50% or I can change it to a solid. It's currently set up as 2 being black, but I could change that to any color I wanted. I'm going to leave it like it is at the moment and press OK. And so what we're seeing here is an outline. So we're seeing the, the visual outline of what we see from above in terms of a bird's eye view. And we're seeing the, the shadow that it's casting on the site. Now I can and I have recently been looking at a few other options that I could add to this where I actually click this hidden edges option as well. Now I could change this to just a, a grey so it's not so dark, not so dominant. Where it's showing what's underneath as well. Now if we want to see less information that's based on the layers of what we've got here. So if I click on this, this is based on the floor structure, so I could turn control L, I could turn that layer off to hide more of that information. We just have to be careful because of course if we're hiding elements of our 3D that can affect the shadow as well. If we don't like what that's doing, we can hide, we don't need to see those hidden edges, so go back into that setting and turn our hidden edges off. So we're still just seeing it from that bird's eye view. And then finally, once we've created a 3D model, we definitely then want to go into our view map and just create a saved view of this. So I've already got a 3Ds here, so I'll save it into here. Or I can create another one and call it Shadow Diagrams. The name that I've already got is fine. I could adjust the scale. Uh, scale is not going to mean a lot because there's nothing really graphic. But when I put this onto a layout, it's probably going to be at a much smaller scale, something more like 1 to 200. So I can change that now. Again, you can see that the scale didn't actually change anything. Now what I really want to do is to create multiples of these. So I can do this in a few ways, but I have to be a bit careful. It's best to create multiples using the same information. So I can duplicate this 3D document. Change this one to 12 noon. And then I need to adjust the settings. Now I'll just extend this navigator so you can see both of them simultaneously. Uh, so I need to make sure I'm working with the right one. They're both still auto rebuild models. I can go into my 3D document settings. What I really need to do is to redefine the 3D projection or I can do it from here. Redefine 3D document based on the current 3D window. So my 3D, my current 3D window hasn't changed. So if I go in here what I want to do is this one, redefine 3D projection, and what do I want to do? I want to change the time, so I want to change that to 12.
course I can save this as a new save view. And let's just create one more. Duplicate 3D document. Now we'll change that to 3 p.m. And redefine. Uh, wrong one. Redefine 3 p.m. Great, so we can see that all of those sun shadows set up in a way that looks correct. And I can turn that off if I want to. That's all right. So now I've got nine. 12 and 3.